my friends, we're going to solve a real exam problem that uses the compression factor. And just note, I've got tons of other videos on exam problems and aspects of thermo as well. Okay, so let's begin. A gas at 350 Kelvin in 25 atmospheres has a molar volume that's 15% uh, smaller than an ideal or a perfect gas. And the question is asking us to calculate the compression factor and molar volume of the gas under these conditions. Okay, so before we begin, what's molar volume? Well, molar volume is the volume that the gas occupies per mole. And our main equation for the compression factor is Z, Z's our compression factor, equals the molar volume of the real gas divided by the molar volume of the gas if it acted ideally or perfectly. Now there's other equations for the compression factor using the variable equation, but this is kind of the main one to start with, with molar volumes. All right, well, if we plug things in, we have 0 0.85 times the perfect gas because it's 15% smaller. So it's the real gas is 85% the size, the same molar volume of the perfect gas. So we'll just plug that into there and we cancel out this VM of the perfect gas. We get a compression factor of 0 0.85. Uh, a compression factor of 0 0.85 means that the real gas has a lower molar volume than a perfect gas. And if it, the molar volume is lower, it's smaller, that means there's attractive forces that are dominant. Uh, those molecules, think of them as pulling in, attracted, attracted to themselves, reducing the volume. Okay, now for the second part of the question, we this is another equation. This is like the perfect gas equation, except we have the compressor uh, the compression factor built right in. If we solve for the molar volume, that equals to Z R T over P, plugging in some numbers for the compression factor R, T, and P, making sure our units cancel out, we get a molar volume of 0 0.99 liters per mole. All right, y'all, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, good luck on your exams, midterms, quizzes, all that stuff. Uh, I'm here for you. I've got so many practice problems and concepts and things like that. I have a very comprehensive video on the compression factor and other aspects. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.